there, Colin here with Monster VoIP, and today we're going to go over how to create an auto attendant. Okay, so we're going to log into the Monster VoIP PBX at pbx.monstervoip.com. All right, and then once we get logged in here, this is Office Manager Scope. So your basic user is not going to have the ability to make any uh, company changes. They would only have visibility into their own profile. So whoever setting up the auto attendant should have Office Manager Scope. Okay, so we're going to hover over to the auto attendant tab and go ahead and click on those. And there's no limitations. You can have multi-level auto attendants, and you can have as many auto attendants as you want. Um, you can have a during business hours or after business hours auto attendant. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to click add auto attendant. <clears throat> Okay, and we're going to want to give the auto attendant a name. So we're going to call this test uh, IVR. And we want to give it a, a, a extension because we can drive some of the answering rules from the uh, extension, which is a system user. Uh, you usually want to keep your all of your auto attendants in the same series. Um, so let's just say we have this. Um, so we have test uh, auto attendance in the 400 series. So we're going to go ahead and make this 406. Okay, and then we want to select the time frame. So are we creating auto attendant for our holidays, our after hours, or our business hours? Now just keep in mind that default is the is 24 hours. Okay, and you can create uh, new time frames here in the time frame tab if you uh, need to create something s specific or if you haven't already set up your after hours or your business hours. Once you create the auto attendant, you cannot change the time frame. So it's important you have your time frame first. Okay. So we're going to go with business hours. All right. So we have the name in our extension. Uh, there's no real need to put an intro greeting unless you wanted to play some sort of message before giving the menu prompt options. Now, <clears throat> if you did want to do that, then you could just click the manage audio and add greeting. Okay, you're going to want to select the time frame for that. Uh, and then once you're ready to record, you click record and you could simply tell it to call you at your extension. Um, or you can you know, enter any number you want in there and go ahead and follow the prompts. Once you save that greeting, then it will save it to the system. Okay, now for your menu prompt greeting, we're gonna click on the manage audio here. You can give it a name. Okay, and if you already have a file that maybe was professionally recorded, uh, you can upload it here. Uh, or if you're gonna record something yourself, you would click record. <clears throat> And have it call you at your extension or you can enter your cell phone number okay and click call okay so the system will call you and you just follow the prompts you can listen to the recording re-record it if you need uh, once you have that audio file saved in there then you have some options okay so uh, you have your number keys here, and here's the options you can do. So, for example, uh, press one for accounting, uh, then you could, you know, route it to your accounting call queue. Uh, press two for support, you could, you know, route it to a support call queue. Um, if you have a, um, you know, emergency support or emergency doctor on call, something like that. Then you know you could press you know for press nine and send it to an external number. Um, <clears throat> if you you know have an option where you want to give them directions on how to find your location, you could you know have another message right that you could record there. You know give them some directions to where you're located. Um, <clears throat> if you have a conference bridge number set up, uh, you could you know put them to a conference. Um, and then you could have <clears throat> nine be your company or eight rather be your uh, company directory. OK, 
Okay, so you can add that there. And with the company directory, if you're using a company directory, it's really important that all of your users have a recorded name and that they've set that up prior because they will not show up in the directory if they haven't recorded their name. Okay, and then we have some options here. Okay, so we can enable dial by extension if we want to go to the, uh, if we want to give them the ability to dial an extension well in the uh, recording. So, for example, you know, thank you for calling ABC Company. If you know your party's extension, you can enter it at any time. That's where we would enable that. Okay, now we have some options. If they don't press a key, then we can repeat the greeting, uh, we can hang up, or we could, you know, follow one of the options, which maybe sends them to a voicemail. So, for example, let's say um, if they, you know, if they don't press anything, then we're going to send them to uh, this uh, three one. So, if they don't press anything, okay, then we're going to send them to that voicemail. So, we could say, you know, if no key is pressed, then you know, follow eight. Okay. If an unassigned key is pressed, so if they press five or four, and you have nothing set up on there. We can hang up, we can follow another option, um, or we could repeat the greet, you know, restart the greeting. Okay. All right, so we can save that. Okay, so now that our auto attendant has been saved, we'll see uh, see it right here. Okay. Okay, we can always edit, make any changes, all right? But remember, we created uh, 406 as the extension, okay? So we have our auto tenant created, but we need to route the number to the auto tenant. So if you have your main number or block of numbers that you use that you want to go to this auto attendant, you're simply just gonna go to your inventory, find the number that you want routed to the auto attendant, okay? And let's look at one that's already our, um, this one here. Okay, so you would make sure that you put the treatment as auto attendant and then select the auto attendant that you want in there. So we had 406. Okay, so we would then save that and then click save. Okay, and then that will route it to the auto attendant. All right, so for more tips like this, go ahead and check us out on YouTube. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching another Monster VoIP Tips and Tricks video. You could visit us at www.monstervoip.com or give us a call at 877-818-9696 to learn more.